the literati style of Chinese floral arrangements was popular in Song Dynasty, 960 to 1280 AD. Su Dongpo, one of the scholars, emphasized knowledge and the highly skillful techniques for arranging flowers. Emperor Song Huizong played the instruments in front of the Othomensis plants. Ouyang Xiu and others studied methods of extending the lives of the flowers in their arrangements. Take a small bowl. Place the pin frog in the center of a container and a pair of scissors. Narcissus bloom in the months of February and March. Arrowhead leaves are great for accompaniments. Take the long stem with the less brooms and run through the blades and make the softer curve and place in the center of the pin frog. Then take the shorter stem with more brooms, take off some dry leaves, also massaging it. Cut the stems about half of the length of the long stem and place right in front of it. Take the arrowhead leaves, place the first one right below the flowers, then place the second leaves right behind the tall stems. Each time when you insert the stems into the pin frog, make sure they are closely tied together. The third leaf is placed between the two leaves, but it seems has too much material already clustered in the center, so you can take off the two corners. And just to make sure, the third leaf will tightly close at the bottom. This is one of the characteristic of the literati style. Narcissus has beautiful fragrance. It's one of their favorite flowers for scholars. This is a simple but elegant literati style arrangement. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you next time.